Hi guys, it's George from Cypress Insight. This afternoon and for the next couple of nights we are at Aos Theodorus and we are at Cyprus glamping. Ooh. Now look at this lovely garden. There we are. Now we are staying in some sheds. Oh no, glamping. Um, which way do you think we should go? Oh, there's Stephen and Sula's shed or hut. This one's called Jerusalem. Right, open up and then we'll have a look around, shall we? Oh, look at this, guys. Let's go into... Oh, it's massive. Lovely and cool. Mmm, smell that pine. There we are. So we've got a double bed, we've got a pine everywhere, conveniently located settee, a little kitchen. Oh, I do like the little doors. And then aircon. It really is glamping, isn't it, guys? Aircon. Um, let's put the bathroom light on, shall we? There we Oh, I like the tiles. Look at that, there we are, shower and a bath. Lovely, isn't it? Oh look, you've got an open wardrobe as well. Right, so let's go to the next cabin, guys. Let's go down here. Here we are, now in the center, we've got this lovely barbecue area. So we can have a barbecue tonight if you fancy, guys. And that's shared amongst these cabins here, all the way around us. That's one, two, three, four, five, guys. And I do believe we're in this one over here. And this one is Budapest. Here we are, I've got the key. Open up. Oh, look, got a little terrace area as well to sit in. Beautiful gardens. Right, let's go in. Oh, similar sort of thing, guys. Different type of bed in this one. I've oh, got a nice bed. Oh, convenient located settee again. And the same sort of bathroom. Lovely kitchenette. And flamingos, that's right. Okay, we've got flamingos, thank you. Here we are, guys. Cats are having their breakfast in the glamping area. There's the barbecue, and we're having our breakfast, aren't we? We are. There we are. That's a glamping breakfast, guys. Just being prepared within the cabin, not on the barbecue. So we're starting off at the glamping site, and we're going to go for a little walk, guys. A morning walk down towards the beach. And we'll see how far away the beach is. So there's the glamping site on either side of the road. Lovely olive trees look all the way round. Now, I don't think the airport's too far away, guys. We have heard some planes coming in. Oh, what we got here in our first field. Let's have a look, guys, look. It's a solar farm. Well, that's a big solar farm. There's one further down as well. Look at that. Wow. Now there's a lot of olives on these trees. Look at that. They're covered in them. They'll start picking them soon. 
and it looks like uh, there are small olives on these particular ones can, can you see very small olives so they'd be great for olive oil oh what's across the road let's have a look oh citrus fruit I think they're oranges yeah there they are lots of oranges it's pomegranate season there's some pomegranates over there might come across a few fig trees we're in fig season at the moment the first lot came out uh, a month or so ago and I do believe the another month we'll be harvesting the next lot of figs right let's cross the road oh another solar farm oh lovely conifers so we've got hundreds of olive trees here guys surrounded by beautiful conifers same variety i do believe the little ones oh these are the bigger ones guys look there we are oh that's just fallen off there's loads falling off guys they've got to uh, harvest them i think before they lose them on the ground so they're picked guys and then they're put into uh, salt water i do believe what we've got here oranges another month or so for oranges oh the beach is not too far at all oh i thought it's further away from the glamping than this I haven't been walking long at all Oh, listen to the birds. Oh, we've got some greenhouses as well. They are more likely with growing tomatoes or cucumbers in those greenhouses. We'll have a look once we uh, reach the front. Mm, tomatoes, I think. So they're protected from the sun. Oh, I can see a brown sign coming up. That's probably some sort of river down there, guys. You can see the bamboo growing is that a fig tree over there as well let's go over there once we see what's growing in the greenhouses let's get a bit closer let's have a look yes yeah, tomatoes guys and you can see the mesh here I think he's gonna make some more mesh round here guys protect the tomatoes there we are very good quality look at that that's really good mesh right let's cross the road because i did spot the fig tree might be some figs we can gather There it is in the shade. Oh, there's nothing much on this. No, I can't even see one fig. Not nothing here at all. It's very strange. Oh, well, there you are, guys. Not even one fig. Maybe it's too damp round here. Hmm. 
who knows lovely conifer all right let's go this way shall we oh, i think the beach is towards the right ah yes there's a beachfront restaurant as well now we were told you can go left and then right to the beach and we have been down here before guys we did a little video of the village Aos Fiodulos and then we came down here to the beach right let's cross the road then oh wow look at those brand new apartments going up right on the seafront oh they're nice aren't they guys what a lovely area to buy an apartment it's very quiet not too far from Limassol oh idle location the highway's just up the road Right, so I'm going to make my way up towards the Massive Heart. Can you just make out the Massive Heart? I think it's a photo opportunity. There we are, there's the first restaurant, Mamas. If I go to the Heart, we can see the view. In the middle of the heart and then we can head back towards the glamping site oh more greenhouses i think they've got cucumbers in those ones well guys it's the middle of october nine o'clock in the morning and i think it's creeping up to 30 degrees the sun does feel hot on your neck wow Amazing. We have been told that uh, we might get a bit of rain tomorrow. I'm not too sure. Looks all clear at the moment, very calm. The gardens definitely need a bit of rain. Now we did. Uh, have uh, quite a long winter last year guys and went right into spring spring was a little bit cooler so I think we're suffering at the end of the summer well we call it suffering you guys call it lovely so here's the heart Let's have a look what sort of photo opportunity we've got. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Let's get a bit closer. There we go. I think it's about uh, there. Would you say, guys, you can sit in the middle of the heart, take a photo? So here's the beach. Oh, it's a lovely beach. You'll have to wear your beach shoes, guys. Or stone shoes, if you want to call them stone shoes. Massive, beautiful pebbles. Look at that, all along. And I don't think it's a gentle slope getting in, guys. It's like plop straight in. And we're possibly coming down here later and have a little swim so uh, look out for the video guys we're gonna do a little exploring we'll go to a few villages and then we'll come down here and cool down in that beautiful sea and we'll be doing a little videoing for you guys right so we're heading back towards the glamping site see what else we can discover on the way back right back through Mama's fish taverna and we're not far from Ziggy Ziggy's up there guys 
and that's got lots and lots of fish taverners so we're on the way back and I've just spotted something guys look at this passion fruit there it is all along the side there you see that don't think the passion fruit's ready yet but it's smothered the olive tree underneath There we are, there's a passion fruit there. So if you're growing this guys over here or anywhere, it's very vigorous. Look, it's gone over here, over this bit here, and it'll go mad. He's gonna have to chop it back soon. And we put a passion fruit up into Ella's blind cat sanctuary. Morning. And that grows up mad, makes a lovely shade for the cats. It takes them looking after. Got to be on top of it. There's some bombillos. <laughs> it's like a giant grapefruit. I'll show you. I think they're ready soon. Let's go down here and show you. Here we are size of them massive aren't they see how big they are and next to it is a orange tree all right let's go around the side here a bit of shade wow look at all these uh, amazing olive trees oh one moment it's a little fig tree. It's got figs on it. Let's have a look if they're ready. Now they're solid, guys. So they're not ready yet. We'll leave those. Now we did go to a lovely taverna last night. Look out for the video, guys. Just fancy something to eat. Drove into Aos Fiordalos come across this lovely taverna I thought, oh we'll have that go in there looks delish it was guys really delish I made up another word super delish just came out just like that I said oh that's super delish Calimera. Calimera. here we go this is lovely garden What's he got? He's got loads of stuff. He's doing a bit of gardening at the moment. So he's got a massive fig tree. That's a lemon tree there. Looks like he's got uh, pumpkins growing on the floor. So now we're coming back to the solar farm and I'm walking across the road. Let's see what else I can discover before we hit the glamping site. A bit of recycling going on here. It's an old telegraph pole. Now it's a gate pole. The fields are quite empty at the moment. I think they'll be putting the wheat in soon. And then we'll get our first lot of rain. And then the whole island will change colour it be green and as we drive around throughout the winter doing some videos you'll see green pastures everywhere green fields it's like a different country it's like a different island all green and lush I'm not too sure what this piece is guys looks like we might have an extension to the glamping site there's loads of sheds on the other side and there's uh, about five or six on this side oh that was a pleasant morning's stroll guys 
I'm glad you come with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.